I don't think I've had this much fun in a horror movie ever. It's so Great. much fun. Our, our audience was scared to death, but laughing at the same time. This movie is absolutely incredible. Um, <laughs> it jumps from a heist movie to a haunted house movie to a monster movie. Can you talk about how these uh, different shifts in genres kind of impacted each of your characters, Sammy and Frank? Wow, that's such a good question. Um, well, I love all those genres, right? And we love genre films. And my favorite thing about ours is like, you flip it. You flip the genre. You flip the tropes. You think you know who Sammy is, and then you definitely don't by the end. Um, and I and that's why I love horror. There's a lot of surprises in this movie. And uh, Matt and Tyler and the whole Radio Silence, William, I have never seen such a gory film in my life. 30,000 liters of blood. Jesus. Yeah. It's a lot of blood. It's a lot of blood. They are very, very playful filmmakers, Matt and Tyler. You know, Radio Silence, that's their hallmark, is that they, you're going to have a great time. You're going to laugh, you're going to scream. And they really kind of turn it up with this one. And they are very playful with their audience, you know. So as you say, you think, you, the first few seconds of the movie, you think you're watching a beautiful ballet movie. Right. It's like very atmospheric and calm. And then that changes into a heist movie. And then as you say, then we're sort of, you know, locked in this house and then really weird shit starts to happen. And so it's just constantly playing with your expectations and taking you for a ride. Absolutely. Now, Catherine, uh, what were you excited to explore with Sammy that uh, stands out from other uh, horror films you've done like Freaky or Lisa Frankenstein? I can't really talk about it without spoiling anything. But if you watch this movie, I've never played a character like this before and I would like to do it again. Um, I think when I read it, it was like, such a great opportunity as an actress because it's a huge arc. Um, and then when I met Matt and Tyler, I could tell that they were so loving and um, supportive. And I just wanted to do a good job, you know? And as a horror fan, you see what's in this script. You see what's in the trailer. You know what's coming for you. <laughs> I had no idea that this was going to be such a good opportunity. Even the dance, like, right. that was like this big in the script, you know? Wow. And the, the boys said, yeah, we are going to, whatever you just showed us, we're doing that and we're going to teach it to Alicia and it's going to become a real thing. And that's an ode to their filmmaker quality. It's an art. Sure. It's a film. We're making a movie and the best idea wins. True collaboration right. process uh, uh, right in front of your eyes. Now, Dan, can you talk to me about why Frank butts heads with Joey at every turn and working with uh, Melissa to kind of cultivate that chemistry? Because we have to. We have to have that. We, I mean, I, Frank hates everybody, it seems. Um, he's especially annoyed. Especially Sammy. Especially yes. Sammy. But he's very, he's very suspicious of Melissa's character, Joey, uh, from the beginning. And, you know, you get the sense that he's kind of pulled together this team. I don't know how one pulls together a heist team in real life. But anyway, these characters have been thrown together. He doesn't trust any of them, doesn't like any of them. But there's a sort of a leadership jostle with Joey. And, you know, Joey has the privilege of this, of this contact with Abigail. She develops this special relationship with her. And, you know, which kind of gives her the upper hand by the end of the movie, very much. And um, so, yeah, I think it's that. It's that, you know, that Joey is really kind of challenging him for for sort of alpha dog top spot, and that really pisses him off. Absolutely. Now, switching gears for a second, Catherine, uh, is there anything that you can tell us about Big Little Lies season three? No, mm -hmm. of course not. I didn't think so. <laughs> what do you I mean? So. What do you think you're getting out of me? I can't even tell you what happens in the movie I'm talking to you about. <laughs> I tried. I don't think I could talk to you about something else. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, I tried. They What's up with that? All my career, it's just secrets, secrets, <laughs> secrets. Every role you have, secretive. And right all now. I do is boil everything. Not you know? this time. I'm not doing it today. No spoilers. Get out of here. It's amazing. Well, look, Abigail's amazing. I, everyone needs to see this on the biggest screen possible. It, it, it is gory. It is fun. You'll laugh. You'll get scared. It has it all. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.